In my last video, I shared my approach to creating cables and tubes in Blender. In this video, I shall share two more methods. The first method involves the use of edges, and the second one uses grease pencils. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start off by creating a plane. I'll duplicate this plane and just move that about. So this is going to be the surface from which our cables are going to be hanging. Uh, I shall also add a solidify modifier and I'll just increase the thickness of that. Now this plane here is going to be our drawing plane. So I'm just going to jump into edit mode and subdivide this. I'll give it about 10 number of cuts. And then I shall rotate this on the x-axis by 90 degrees. So let's make sure we select that and rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees. So I'm just going to switch to my orthographic view and I'll just move this up like so. Now our goal here is to use the knife tool to basically draw our cables. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've just drawn the uh, path that the cable is going to follow on the surface. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to hit enter to accept that. And I shall separate this from the plane. So now let's go ahead and hide this plane because we're not going to need that anymore. All we need is this curve right here. So I'll go ahead and subdivide this curve just so that it's a little bit more smoother. Now this alone is not going to enable us to uh, create a cable because we are going to need a curve and this is an edge. So we are going to need to convert this edge into a curve. But before I go ahead and do that, I shall apply the subdivision surface modifier and I'll come over to object, say convert and select curve. So now this edge has been converted into a curve. So the first step is complete. Now we need a profile to uh, basically sweep across this path that we have here. So I'm just going to get some geometry from my curve kit here. So I'll grab this profile and I shall bring it to our 3D cursor. Now I'll go ahead and change the origin to the geometry and I will select uh, the I mean, I'll send the 3D cursor to the origin of this curve and I shall send the profile that I have here to the 3D cursor. So now I'm going to rotate this on the Y axis by 90 degrees and I shall turn on our modifiers that we have here and I'll come to our curve modifier and I'll select the plane as our curve object. But let's go ahead and change the deform axis to Y and then let's scale our geometry down like so and we shall move it like this. And let's just uh, move this into place. Uh, so now that that's done, we've gone ahead and created our cable. So this is the first way in which you can create a cable using edges. So now let's move on to the second example, which is using the grease pencils. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this and get rid of this as well. And we shall switch back to our orthographic view. And now I shall create a blank from the grease pencil menu. Once I've done that, I'll change from object mode to draw and I will switch off the um, pressure sensitivity for the radius so that we have a consistent curve. Uh, if you have the radius, um, the pressure sensitivity for the radius on, uh, your curve is going to have varied tips. So that's not what we want for this. So now I'm going to go ahead and sketch out my curve. Um, once I'm happy with that, I shall switch back to object mode and I'll select this and I will convert this into a path. So go ahead and convert that into a path and I shall just hide the grease pencil layer. And now we have this uh, path here. So now let's go ahead and bring in another profile. 
So let's uh, pick this one, for instance. And let's uh, also uh, first actually switch the origin to geometry. So let me send the cursor to the origin of this uh, curve. And then I shall select our geometry and bring it to the 3D cursor. And I'll rotate this again on the Y axis by 90 degrees like so. I will turn on the array. I'll ensure merge is checked. I shall bring the scale down like so. Um, I'll turn on our subdivision surface modifier so that the end result is going to be smooth. And I'll select the grease pencil layer as our curve object. Let's go ahead and apply that. And let's just um, turn this on and let's uh, select the appropriate axis for this to deform on. So that basically sums up uh, the method in which you can use the grease pencils to create um, cables and tubes. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you want to get your hands on this curve kit that I've got here, you can check out my Gumroad store. The link to that is in the description of this video. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you found this useful and if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I shall talk to you in the next video.